Okay. Welcome to another Lightning Strikes Twice, the super fast, hyper condensed version of our regular lightning rounds where there's only one topic a piece. It's me, Eric, and Casey over there, and we got five minutes to discuss. So go ahead, Casey. Okay. You're in the woods, and you come across a strange man or a bear. Which would you prefer? Uh, <laughs> e e I, e the bear. You, I mean, oh, ha have you heard of this? Like, no, no. I, I'm, I'm, I mean, it's it's a a thing, I guess, when you're out in the wilderness that other people are the most dangerous thing compared to nature or even spooky stuff. Like, you know, I like Bigfoot or whatever. Like, no, humans are. If you're alone, like out in the middle of nowhere, like another human is your biggest threat. Ah, interesting, interesting. So you haven't heard about like all the controversy around this question? No. What controversy? Oh, oh so um, I it was it was asked on I don't know TikTok or something like that, like what women would feel more comfortable um, coming across in the woods, a bear or a strange man, mm -hmm. and almost all of them were saying a bear, and there's like all this you know you know this way and that way arguing going on and so <laughs> on and so forth and, hmm. and you know like i was always thinking like you know a, a bear is definitely going to like you're not going to win if, if well, this, this comes, is this comes is to true. blows yeah, you know? yeah. <laughs> <laughs> i mean especially if you cross a bear with their cubs or something like yeah it, right, it came over right. at that point yeah so or i mean like or something of course it's 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 not meant to be so literal mm -hmm. it's more of a, a, a social commentary on how women don't feel safe around um, around men mm -hmm. which is you know a, a a valid point but yeah. the 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 hyperbole in, in such a <laughs> in such a comparison is a, a little bit ridiculous um yeah especially because like i i've i've been watching some of the arguments on online back and forth and yeah those are always like good fodder for, for episode content mm -hmm. and uh there were people being like well you can't just say not all men and expect you to feel safe and then they're like you know not all bears are gonna uh kill you and i'm like well, how are you gonna say not all men is not valid and then say not all bears you know yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly i mean it is kind of the same thing I, like i believe most people are good but caution is warranted mm -hmm. you know you are alone in the middle of nowhere not like around civilization in the middle of the woods and you encounter a, an unfamiliar a stranger like yeah the, the first order of business is to start from a position of concern or a caution right right like you don't want to just be like oh yeah yeah totally fine the same thing with nature though too it's like yeah you run into a bear or a cougar or some other big animal that has the potential to take you down and has happened in the past like yeah i'm not gonna just cozy up to a bear that i see in the woods <laughs> any more than i would another human even if it was a I, woman that i met in the woods i'd still be like mm, i don't fully trust you because you, you know you don't know the person it's it's a stranger mm -hmm. and, and that's a sad thing because we should you know i would like to live in a world where you meet a random stranger and it's not automatically a threat <laughs> you know I mean, yeah, like it, humans are a little more complicated, you know, with bears, et cetera, you're going to kill you, eat you, or hump you. And, yeah. uh, <laughs> you know, yeah, like pretty much. You, you kind of know that's that's the options on the table there. Yeah. It's, well, it's more complicated with humans, of course. Yeah. And, uh, and, and that's not even just men. Like, it, like it's, it's interesting that you didn't even know about this particular like, context of the question and you being a, a man who always has a gun on him still said the bear. Yeah, um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So exactly. that that's interesting. That's, that's yeah. <laughs> well, Humans and that's are, the thing is like not nice people, are we? <laughs> no, no. But now here's the thing, though, with humans, at least, like with a bear or whatever, you can't necessarily reason with it. Uh, I mean, you know, maybe it'll forget about you if you walk away, but a human being won't forget. And although you have the option of potentially reasoning with somebody, right? Mm -hmm. You know, you can talk your way out of a, a human versus human situation, but you can't when it comes to animals. Like right. 
in right. the wild, like bears and stuff. Uh, and even like, no matter your age, gender, uh, exercise level, mm-hmm. weapon status or whatever, like you still always have a chance to win with a human. Yes. Or escape from a human. Yes. When it comes to a bear, like the, those odds are very small. <laughs> oh, and especially a cougar too. Like if a, 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 if a cougar's got your, you know, got you in their sights, like <laughs> that's a very yeah. dangerous. Uh, well, that, <laughs> there we go. That's time. That's that's oh, a good. Man. It's an interesting topic there. Hmm. Alrighty, what do you got for us? Well, mine's a little bit of. I I don't, I don't know how to even classify it. I guess it'd be kind of tomfoolery, I suppose. Um, so. <sighs> People who buy scratch tickets and lottery tickets at um, convenience stores, hmm. you well, know, where they like, oh, can I get one of those and one of those? And then they, they redeem their thing. And then uh, like <laughs> you're, you're, there's a whole line waiting. Like oh. somebody's got one little thing and there's this person like, well, give me, can I get one of those and this and that? And they're like oblivious to this like crowd of people standing behind them. Okay. Yeah. Like that. That is irritating. Um, not even just scratch tickets, but people that like have sit there and have conversations with the store clerk while there's people lining up behind them. Oh yeah, you know, like they, just things like that in general, like that obliviousness to your surroundings. Yeah, most people don't have situational awareness. I'm telling you, like they right. have no. They they turn around, and they're like, oh, I'm sorry uh, to the. 10 people standing there, you know, with <laughs> and their then, candy bars. And, and they stuff. go on with their scratch ticket. And yep. Oh, yep. Sorry. <laughs> well, and it's, it's, it's kind of the same thing. Like it, you know, back in the day checks, the, the person that right that like doesn't <laughs> pre fill out the check, but they do it after they get the total. They're like, Oh, let me get my checkbook out. And I'll just Fred Meyer. <laughs> and then what was the total again? Is there like a huge line of people come tapping their feet and stuff? Oh man. I, yeah. I mean, I don't know if you put that check writing in a race against this whole chip thing on the debit cards. Mm-hmm. I think it's about like nose to nose. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Like it's it's super slow now. Like it used to be so quick to swipe your card and go. Yeah. And now it's like uh insert or tap or you know like pin or no pin or, or people oh, trying to use like work. apple pay on their phone and it's not working mm-hmm. you know oh man oh the, and, I think and then the, it's all slow like uploading especially if the store has shit internet mm-hmm. you know, oh, yeah. i mean that's not necessarily the fault of the customer though um, it's a technological mm-hmm. failing but oh well, there's yeah. a, here's another one that just popped up i remember this um because I had to deal with it as, as a cashier at multiple places like retail that I worked at. Um, but I've also been standing in line waiting for somebody uh, like, cause there's, Oh yeah, I live in Oregon. I don't pay sales tax. So then they got to oh. go <laughs> and get the book and they got to take their ID and write all the stuff down and fill it out all to save like 10 cents or something like, Oh my God. And how is that uh, even like a thing? Because I- if you live in Oregon and you're buying something in Washington, well, tough shit. Mm-hmm. You know, in Washington charges sales tax. You're, yeah. you're transacting in a sale in Washington. Yeah. You pay sales tax. Exactly. <laughs> well, and, and, well, just like you would, uh, you know, we have different rates within the state for different areas. Like, the, mm-hmm. you know, the local areas have their own additional things. Um, so, yeah, you don't go to Kent and be like, well, I live in Tacoma, so I pay the Tacoma rate. Like, that's right. ridiculous. Would you but drive it, to Oregon to buy a car and be like, "Hey, don't forget to charge me Washington sales tax." Yes. I, I was just gonna, I was just gonna say that. Yeah, you know, <laughs> like, I never heard that of anybody would be done. <laughs> yeah, I it's mean, like, like I think they get you anyway with cars because of the whole registration yep. is where the tax is applied. Yep. Exactly, you're gonna pay it one way or another. It's more of a more of a thought experiment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, like kind of what I'm thinking about this is like the whole courtesy for other people that Mm -hmm. like you know you you got to hurry up i like i don't like i I, in fact when there's say like i'm coming out of a parking lot onto a street like if there's people behind me i won't turn left i'll just turn right and go around and turn around some other way because it's like okay Mm -hmm. i don't want to hold people up i don't want to be the reason that somebody else has been delayed right it's often quicker anyway yeah (laughs) and Uh, safer safer too yeah uh 
yeah, like the scratch thing, scratch ticket thing is stupid because there's all these little kiosks now where you can just go and buy them. And there's a little table next to it so you can go out of the way and scratch your scratch tickets yep. and Gro- redeem grocery- them if you win. Grocery yeah. stores typically have like a customer service desk that does that. So it's mm-hmm. like you're not really impeding the flow of regular customers, just the yeah. people that need bigger things. Um, but that's the whole point. It's like you go into a convenience store, like a gas station or something. It's like you, 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 you kind of like on your way somewhere like, OK, I'm going to get gas. I'm just going to grab like a snack or whatever and, you know, a couple of things. And now there's somebody standing there like getting like dozens and dozens of tickets and, and stuff like, oh, <laughs> Oh my God. If, if, yeah, if you have that, it's fine. If you're buying something and you're like, Hey, give me a couple of those at the same time. It's no big mm-hmm. deal. But then people come in to redeem and then they kind of look around and well, I have some of those and some of those. And it's like, D- D- just hurry up. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you know? I, I feel guilt if I'm at a bakery here in Germany and I'm trying to order a few things and you know, I'm kind of slow with German and there's other people behind me. I'll just, stop getting food i'll be like oh that's enough uh, yeah yeah <laughs> you exactly. know like i'm not gonna hold up the line yeah it's just common courtesy for for other mm-hmm. people you know i i don't i don't get it i so many people though it's like ah, well, that's time yeah it just uh, yeah that that i'm sure that one's <laughs> gonna rile people up for sure <laughs> i need my scratch ticket yeah. well or other people who have experienced I, i'm sure everybody has like you're standing there when somebody's doing something that, that, that like, come on, maybe yeah. step aside and let the people who just have one item through and then you can sit there or step aside and have a conversation while the other people are getting rung up or something, you know, it's only Move aside and let the man go through, let <laughs> man go through. Exactly. <laughs> well, so uh, those are good. Um, hope everybody enjoys and uh, yeah, stick around. Till next week for the next exciting lightning strikes twice. Super bomb bomb, super bomb bomb.